to a new video and happy December 1st. This is my first day of Bookmas like vlogging. I already uploaded my first Bookmas video for the 12 days of Bookmas. How many times can I say Bookmas? I don't know, but I'm really excited. <laughs> I don't have long to do this update because I'm going to be doing um, reading sprints with Jan on Jan's channel. Because it's the first of the month, she always does reading sprints on her channel. So I'm going to be doing those with her tonight and some other people, I think. I'm not exactly sure who's going to be there, but it'll be fun. But I did want to start this vlog since it's December 1st and just kind of let you know what I'm reading and what's going on. So this morning I started listening to the audiobook for The Little Book of Huga by Mike Viking and it's a really short audiobook so I'm probably going to finish that on the sprints. I only have like 15 minutes left but yeah it's just a little non-fiction all about Huga which is the like Danish way of living well or whatever it says. I'll have the picture up here of the cover. Basically Huga is like a general feeling of like a coziness and something comforting so it's perfect for winter time like cuddling up with a blanket and a good book and a cup of something warm is very huga so. so yeah I am really enjoying the audiobook and getting ideas for how to make my life a bit cozier and more huga. I'm not sure what else I'm going to be picking up on the reading sprints tonight. I think I might start my reread of A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Maas. This is my favorite book of all time if you didn't know and this will be my 10th time reading this book and I'm really really excited to pick this one up again. I've been wanting to reread it for a while now. I can't remember exactly when the last time I reread it was but I don't think I've read it at all this year so this will be my first time reading this this year. <laughs> 10th time in total. So I'll probably end up picking this up for these sprints which start in like 10 minutes or so. So I need to get set up for that but I did want to just quickly like pop in and say what I was reading and a little welcome here. So yeah I'm gonna go get ready for the sprints and get all settled in and I will see you there. It is December 2nd now and I didn't update last night after the reading sprints because I just forgot to and I was tired. I don't know. I just didn't. But I am on page 206 now of A Court of Mist and Fury and I am absolutely loving it still. Like obviously I knew I would but I don't know. I just feel like every time I read it I'm reminded of why I love it so much. Because after I don't read it for a long time, like I haven't read it since last December, I'm like... It's my favorite book. I know that and I love that. But I sometimes forget how much I love it until I reread it. And then when I'm rereading it, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm obsessed with this. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to be continuing on with my reread tonight. I have the house to myself tonight because Brandon has parent-teacher conferences and I do not. So it's just me and uh, the pooch here. <laughs> She's very needy. Um... Yeah, so I am going to probably watch some booktube videos because people are coming out with their vlog vlogmas content. So I want to watch some booktube videos and I need to take a shower and wash my hair, which is quite the process because it's so long. And then I'm going to curl up on the couch and have a very hygge night, a very cozy, comfy night reading my book. I'm going to light some candles, make a cup of tea. So yeah, that's the plan for tonight, but I just wanted to let you know that I'm on page 206. Where's your lammy? Get it. Where's your lamb chop? Ellie. Where's your lamb chop? Get it. Get it. Give me that. You got it? <laughs> 
For those of you that are just as invested in my little village, my little Christmas village as I am, I don't know if I updated when I got this Bedford Falls train station one here. So Bedford Falls, if you don't know, is the town in the movie It's a Wonderful Life, which is one of my mom and I's like favorite Christmas movies. We watch it every year. And so when we found this one, we were so excited and we were going to get it and like pay the full price at Goodwill that it was. And then we realized that the color price tag that it was was 50% off. So it was just meant to be. And then recently I found, sorry, I've got like schmutz everywhere. But recently we found this little schoolhouse. So I've got like a pretty complete village. I'm still looking for a little gazebo like in um, Stars Hollow and Gilmore Girls, which we haven't found yet. We saw one in someone's cart at Goodwill when we found the schoolhouse, but we'll find one and it'll be awesome when we do. So yeah, here's my little update on my Christmas village. So now I'm going to light some candles and have a cup of tea. One of my friend's friends, so like one of my best friends, Maggie, has a friend, her husband's friend from high school that they invite when we do like a big game day when we play a bunch of like board games and stuff. And so he's become our friends over the years, like since we've been playing games together. But I always bring Duncan, like I bring a dozen donuts and then I get drinks for everybody from Duncan. It's like our tradition. And the last time we had our game day, I got tea instead of coffee. And this friend of a friend, his name's Steven, <laughs> he was like, oh, you're drinking tea. Do you like tea? And I was like, I mean, I like, I like tea, but I don't really know. Like, I'm not like a tea aficionado, which apparently Steven is. And so he gave Maggie this like bag of tea bags for me to try out. And <laughs> if you knew this guy, he's like really goofy and <laughs> he's, he's something, but like, it was really sweet. I don't know. Maybe that was a long story that nobody's going to care about. But I have this like whole bag of tea bags to try out. So I'm going to pick one out here and try a new tea. Okay, I meant to show it. But this is the tea that I decided to go with. Because it said stress relieving and energizing. Even though it's caffeine free. So let's try it. It's probably going to be still really hot actually. Yeah, you know what? I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna do that to myself because I'm gonna burn my tongue because I literally just poured boiling water into it. So I know that it's not cool enough. So I'm not I'm gonna use my brain. I'm gonna use my brain. So I'll try it in a little bit and I'll let you know how it is. Okay, I think the tea is cooled down enough to drink, so let's try it. Oh, that's really nice. Mmm, yeah, that's a good tea. That's a good tea. Thanks, Steven. <laughs> He's definitely not watching my video. <laughs> but I'll just put it out there into the world that I am thankful. <laughs> 
All right, so now I think I'm going to finish watching a couple booktube videos. I don't want to fall too far behind because there's so many people's book miss and vlog miss like content that I want to watch and they come out with it so much more frequently now than regular videos. So I don't want to fall behind. So I'm watching a few and then I'm going to continue reading A Court of Mist and Fury and loving my life. Hello everyone, it is December 3rd, which means it's Bookmas Day 2, so I just posted my Bookmas Day 2 video, which is my most anticipated releases of 2022, so if you haven't checked that out yet, I'll leave it linked in the cards and down below, <clears throat> but I just wanted to update that I am on page, where am I, page 362 of A Court of Mist and Fury, and I... <laughs> I can't accurately explain how much I love this book. Literally, this is my 10th reread and it still makes me cry and I'm not even to like the bits that like make me sob. So I got to the part in the summer court, if without saying spoilers, if you know what I'm talking about, with like the iconic quote of to the people who look up to the stars and wish and to the stars who listen and the dreams that are answered. And literally that part made me tear up like... <laughs> I'll even post a picture of a snapchat that I sent to my best friend Casey who also has read and loved this book so <clears throat> yeah that was me today on my lunch break reading and crying over this book so I kind of think that I want to try to finish this tonight if I can I just want to like sit and enjoy the rest of it like while following along it's been really fun to see all of my annotations and drawings and stickers and stuff throughout this like I just love my annotated copy so much so I'm going to make a cup of tea because if you can tell my voice is like really scratchy I'm, I started to lose it like halfway through teaching today which was not great so I'm gonna try another one of the Stephen teas <laughs> this one is similar to the one that I tried last time because like I liked that one it's the Tulsi Sweet Rose so I'm boiling water for that now, so I'll have to let you know how it is. But it literally says on it, stress relieving and magical. Who, what, could, what more could you want from a tea? Like literally, stress relieving and magical. Amazing. So that's the one I'm going to try. And then Brandon and I are going to have dinner and watch the MasterChef. And then I'm just going to read for the rest of the night and see how far into this beautiful book I can get. All right, so we're going to have our first sip of this tea. Hmm, that's good. Still a little hot, so it's hard to tell. Yeah, it's good. I think I like the one from yesterday better, but this is still really good. You can definitely taste the rose. Yeah, good. Okay, I did not finish ACMAF. I made it <laughs> past chapter 55, if you know, you know. So I'm on page 543. But yeah, to get to chapter 55, we have to go through chapter 54, which I sobbed at. Oh my god, I just... <laughs> I love this book so much. I just... Oh my god, I just love everything. I love everything about it. But yeah, I am really, really tired, so I am going to go to bed so that I can finish the ending tomorrow when I am fresh and ready for it. But yeah, like I said, I have a like bachelorette party slash like girls weekend. It's very low key. We're getting pedicures and doing crafts and stuff, which should be a fun time. But I have quite the drive to get there tomorrow and then we're spending the night in a hotel and then I'll be driving back. So I'll probably listen to the rest of akamaf on audio and then i don't know i might just jump right into a court of frost and starlight or i might pick something else up if i'm in the mood for it i'm not sure yet but i will be finishing akamaf tomorrow probably on my drive so yeah that's gonna be it for tonight and i'll check in tomorrow with some fun things 
All right, hi. I am on my way to my friend Sarah's house for our girls weekend slash bachelorette party. And I just wanted to say that I just finished the audiobook for A Court of Mist and Fury. And I had to stop for gas, but like <laughs> I might have had to pull over if I didn't have to stop for gas because I was like tearing up and then I was like, okay, if I can't see when I'm driving, obviously I need to pull over, but oh my god I love that book so much anytime I think about it it makes me want to cry like have you ever just loved something so much that it makes you want to cry it's an incredible feeling honestly anyway I originally planned to just skip the reread of A Court of Wings and Ruin so I could get to A Court of Frost and Starlight in December but after finishing Akamath I I just want to read A Court of Wings and Ruin again. I know that I've read it a ton of times and like I already know the story so I could skip it and just like jump to the next book but yeah I just don't want to. I just want to read it so I think I'm going to start the audiobook for that. I have about a half hour left of my drive and then I'll have like two hours of driving tomorrow so I can you know get that started <laughs> but yeah I just really want to read it so I'm going to, but yeah, I'm going to get going, so I'm not late to meet at Sarah's, but yeah, I just wanted to update you that I did finish reading A Court of Mist and Fury and loved every second of it. You know, it was my 10th read of it, so it's my favorite book. You knew I was going to love it, but still, <laughs> that's that. All right, so let's go meet some of my friends and go get pedicures. Is it, it's like a pineapple. Look at her. 
officially back from my like girls weekend and it was super super fun very like chill and low-key and that was awesome it was it was a lot of fun so I hope you enjoyed all the clips of all the stuff that we did yesterday so on my drive back I managed to get quite a ways into a court of wings and ruin like I said I started it yesterday um, just for like the little bit that I had left of my drive like a half hour but now I am on page 147 so I've gotten this first chunk done and yeah I'm loving it of course I don't even feel like I need to say that anymore but yeah I'm just really happy to be rereading this I won't say too much about it because I know I gushed about A Court of Mist and Fury a lot in this vlog so I won't say too much but I am wearing my night court sigil <laughs> t-shirt because you know I'm obsessed so there's that but I actually think that I am just going to end this vlog here. I won't have another Bookmas vlog until the Merry and Bright Readathon, which I'll be vlogging, but I'll be splitting those vlogs into two separate ones. So those will be coming soon. <laughs> I still have to post my Bookmas video for today. I think that's the books I DNF'd in my most disappointing books of 2021. I'm pretty sure that's the one that goes up. So if you're interested in seeing that and you haven't watched it yet, I'll link it up in the cards and in the description down below. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment down below. It can be, you know, whatever you want. Just let me know what book you're currently reading or you could even just leave like a festive emoji like the little Christmas tree or the black heart emoji is my favorite or whatever color heart you want, honestly. Just leave a comment because they just, they're so much fun to read. And yeah, thank you again so much for watching this video and I will see you all in my next bookmas video. Bye!